In this video, we're going to learn how to count the number of digits and letters in a string using Python. So there's a lot of ways we could solve this problem. In this video, we'll solve the problem by using a for loop. Let's say we have a string called text, which is equal to open 24 hours a day. In this string, we have two digits and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 letters. What we'll do to solve this problem is make a for loop, which will loop through this string one character at a time. And as we loop through the string one character at a time, we'll check to see if that character is a digit or a letter. If the character is a digit or a letter, we'll increment a running tally of the number of letters or digits. So let's create variables to store those running tallies. We'll have here total letters is equal to zero, and we'll have total digits is equal to zero. And we initialize both these variables to zero because initially we haven't counted any letters or digits yet. Then we'll make a for loop to go through the string one character at a time. We'll have for C in text. So this for loop body is going to run for each character in the string from the first character in the string all the way to the last character in the string. And each time it does, C is going to be set to that next character in the string. Now C is technically a string made up of one character. Now strings in Python have methods called isAlpha and isDigit. isAlpha is going to return true if C is a letter and false otherwise. And isDigit is going to return true if C is a digit and false otherwise. So we can use these methods to detect if C is a letter or a digit and then increment the corresponding variable. So we could have if C dot is alpha returns true, then we'll increment the total letters variable by one because we have found another letter. Otherwise, we'll use an else if case to check if C is a digit using the is digit method. So if is digit returns true, then we'll increment total digits by one because we have found another digit. So by the time this loop is done, we'll have found the total number of letters and digits in the string, and we could output those. We could have print and then total digits colon followed by total digits. And we'll also output here total letters colon and we'll output total letters. So if we save the program and give it a try, then we'll get two digits and 13 letters, which is correct. Now we could put this logic inside a function. For example, we could cut this logic here and we'll paste it inside a function body. We'll have here def count letters and digits. And the function will have a parameter text, which is going to be the string that's passed to the function. Then we'll paste in our logic and we'll indent the code to make it part of the function body. Now what we'll do is return the total number of letters and digits. We'll have here return and then comma total letters and total digits to return these two values. Then down here, say we have a string text one. We could call the function with count letters and digits and we'll pass it text one as an argument. Then we could store the total letter count returned into a variable called LTotal and the total digit count returned into a variable called DTotal. Then down here, we'll output the total number of letters and digits using the variables DTotal and LTotal. So we'll have D total and L total. Then we'll save the program and give it a try. And we'll get here a total digits of two and a total letters of 13, which is correct. So this is how we can count the total number of letters and digits in a string using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.